YouTubers. Alright, excuse the mess, I'm in my studio, but I'm going to show you how to turn a, a pot holder into a chandelier. Okay, now these other belts uh, I took apart. I'm going to loop them on these hooks, which I can go any way you want, really. It doesn't have to be exactly like this and go with the whatever pattern you like, whatever. It's really simple. Just let it dangle. And I'm putting two on this hook to make it even. And skipping this hook and putting it on this one. So it'll kind of form the shape of boobs. Or whatever. Or it'll drape. That's a better way to put it. Okay, so I got that down. It only took me five seconds, literally. And it's coming along. And as for these, I've got these for a dollar at Pay a Dollar. Or you can also go to my Dollar Tree. And I am just putting these on the hooks. Well, oh, hold on. Okay, I've, I got the jars up. Uh, just be really careful when you hang them up because sometimes these wires don't hold the jar. Are the wires don't hold the jars on very good? So I might want to help pull the wire towards the bottle more just to make sure it's secure and won't fall off or spend an extra few dollars and buy some better ones <laughs> you don't want it to fall on your head or on the table during dinner alright so I now have the tea lights in there um, I'm gonna light them but um, the best part is this little hook in the middle but I was never sure what to put in the middle because of I've seen so many things I like, and I want the center part to be really pretty. So I haven't picked that out yet, but there's a bunch of things you can use, and I'll show you like a lantern, like another lantern or something. Okay, so now I have the candles lit. Um, it helps if you use a piece of incense to let like light the candles, or use one of them stick uh, lighters. Okay, you could also use like a lantern like this for the middle part, which is a smaller one, of course, because unless if you don't want that middle. Uh, okay, so if you don't want this middle part, you don't have to have it. So uh, that way you can have that like a big lantern in the middle, which is fine too. Okay, so I'm finished. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes really just to light the candles, huh. but I decided to go with this lantern, or, or the, the jack-o'-lantern, because for one it's iron and it matches the, the pot holder, and yeah, the flame isn't burning very well on it, but it still looks neat. Um, the whole thing, like the jars and the, uh, the belts, and the pot holder and the lantern all together that was like probably twelve dollars and thirteen with the candles so it's a good deal considering how pretty it looks and uh... if you have any questions or concerns prayer requests anything just let me know and hopefully you like it and get some ideas from it And be sure to subscribe or comment, and I'll be happy to hear from you. Have a good day.